Hi everybody, Chloe Thompson here, onboarding and recruiting specialist with SNS Services Group, and this is a walkthrough for hiring managers of the recruiting tab within Paylocity and how to access new applications, candidates that are being screened, and view any assessments, notes, and screenings that have been completed. So we're going to begin by logging into Paylocity, and once you do so, you will be directed to your self-service portal or home page that looks like what is on the screen now. Once we are here, we're going to look near the top left-hand corner of the page and click on the gray navigation bar that says HR and Payroll. Then we're going to find the Recruiting option and click into it. Once we do so, this should take us to the Jobs dashboard where any open jobs that the hiring manager is hiring for will be listed here. To view applicants, we will click into the title of the job. So for instance, let's go ahead and click into CAMS Maintenance Technician. This will then bring us into a series of sections or pools where applicants are housed. Let's go ahead and first look at the new applications pool. Once we are in this pool, we will be able to see any new applicants listed on the left-hand side. Clicking on the applicant will then pull up their contact information. Now let's look at the tabs that we have access to within the applicant's profile. Let's first click into the Feed tab. All the activity that has taken place regarding this new applicant will be located in the Feed section. You should be able to view what date the applicant applied, any emails sent to the applicant, and any notes taken by the onboarding and recruiting specialist will show up in this Feed section. You as the supervisor will be able to make notes in this section too that will only be viewable to the HR team and other supervisors that have access to review these applications. Now let's jump over to the Information tab. The Information section is going to show us the applicant's application and resume that we can view, save, or download. If the job requires the applicant to take assessments such as the OMS, the results, once the candidate has taken them, will be viewable in a downloadable PDF under this information section as well. So again, you will be able to click into any file names under the document section and view the document. You as the hiring manager will be able to upload additional files as well. All notes taken regarding the candidate interviews should be uploaded to this section or added into the notes section within the feed tab. Now let's click into the email tab. The email section is a valuable tool within the recruiting tab because this will show the hiring manager what communication has been sent out to the applicant. If you wish for the applicant to be phone screened or take an assessment, you will be able to change the status of the application by going to the top right orange drop down menu and selecting the appropriate status. This will then notify the onboarding and recruiting specialist to either phone screen or send the applicant assessments. Now let's briefly take a look at the other applicant pools at the top of the page. Let's first click on application review. It is important to notice within this pool that any applications that have not been reviewed by the hiring manager will be marked preliminary manager review. And it is up to you as the hiring manager to review the candidate and change their status to either reject or screen. So again, we'll want to go to the drop down menu and select the appropriate status. Now let's click over to the screening pool. You will see that any applications already reviewed and moved into the status of phone screen or assessment taking will be housed within this section. To move the candidate into the screening section, again, you will want to note the orange drop down menu and select the appropriate status. Now let's jump over to the interview pool. At this point, the applicant is now considered a candidate and they have successfully passed the phone screening and assessment taking if the job requires it. You will notice that their status is changed to either schedule interview or interview. Again, this is how um, we changed it. We will go to that orange drop down menu and select schedule interview or first, second, or third interview. Now let's go ahead and go to the rejected pile. Any rejected candidates will be housed within the rejected section and have a status of either rejected, not qualified, the candidate withdrew, they were screened and rejected, 
or the applicant was kept on file, you will be able to come back to any candidates that are in this pile. Lastly, we're going to go to the offered pool. This section will house any and all candidates that have been offered a role with us and are now considered an employee. Once you as the hiring manager have coordinated an offer with the onboarding and recruiting specialist, the verbal and written offer can be made and the HR team will take care of setting up this new hire in onboarding. Additionally, if you ever need to refer back to notes, communication, or assessments the employee has taken, you will be able to find your employee housed in this recruiting section under the offered pool. If you have any further questions about the recruiting tab or have trouble accessing a job you are hiring for, please contact the onboarding and recruiting specialist within the HR department and we will assist you. Thanks for joining.